this is a throw break guide uh, on how to break some of Paul Phoenix's uh, throws. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Okay, throw break number one. This can be broken by pressing one or two. That's two. That's one. Throw break number two. This can be broken by pressing either one or two. That's one. That's two. Throw break number three can be broken by pressing either one or two. That's two. That's one. Throw break number four is the same as the other lot. Either one or two. That's two. That's one. These moves here, so move number 66, 67, 68, 69, they're the same, either one or two breaks. Move number 70 is a two break, you have to press two, like that. Move number 71 is a one plus two break, like that. Move number 72 is a one break, like that, and if you don't break it, this is what happens, warped. Move number 73 is a one break, like that, and if you don't break it, you're going flying. Move 74 is a one plus two break, like that, and if you don't break it, you're going miles away when you're standing but if you've missed that and you're almost going to the floor press 1 plus 2 and it should reverse but it's timing has to be immaculate so that's 2 and reversal move number 76 is a 1 break Move number 77 is a one break on the floor. Move number 78 is a one break when you hit the floor. Move 79 is one plus two break when you hit the deck. Or if not, this is what's going to happen. Your arm breaks. Move number 80 is his reversal. I'm not quite sure how to defeat this, but I think some sort of um, chickening procedure is involved. You'd have to check on YouTube somewhere and find a video regarding that. We've learnt Paul's got 5 to 8 moves which you can break with either 1 or 2. He's got 2 moves which you have to break by pressing 1. He's got one move which you have to break by pressing 2 and he's got two moves which you have to break by pressing 1 plus 2. Now all of this is whilst he's standing up and then if you're on the floor he's got three moves which you have to break by pressing 1. This is when you're on the floor he's done the ultimate tackle and then he's got one move which when you're on the floor you have to press 1 plus 2 to break so I think it's a good idea to break his throws just by pressing 1 and when you're on the floor in the ultimate tackle position press it 1 that's my view anyway all the best 